Hey guys, Madeline Rebecca here, and I'm going to talk to you guys about the time that I got a dog. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's not enough to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's not enough to see her. There must be something. Now, this is just god awful because this dog sucked. Let's get started. Also, if you're new to my channel, I post every Monday. I really just kind of post about anything, lifestyle, dance, comment anything below that you want to ask me. I'm an open book and I'm growing my channel, so stick along for the journey. Like, subscribe, and let's go. So I really, really wanted a dog. I had been saving my money. I was super lonely and I didn't really know what exactly the dog entailed. You know, I just kind of wanted a friend at the time. So I ended up getting this dog named Theodore super sweet i loved him uh 200 which was fine he was at a shelter and whenever i got him he was a maltese okay if you know maltese like malteses are like over thousands of dollars so i really didn't make any sense why he was on sale but whatever and so whenever i bought him they were like um yeah we just want to let you know that he was returned because he bit a kid but the parents said it was the kid's fault <laughs> and i was like Okay, that makes sense. So I took Theo home and Theodore was so sweet those first weeks. Like he was so quiet and my mom was mad that I bought them and like nobody was happy that I had Theo. Um, so I didn't talk to my mom for like a week. And it was just me and Theo just chilling at the apartment. Like I absolutely adored him. But then he started getting really, really like territorial. Like nobody could be around me. Um, nobody, like, if anyone tried to pet him, he wouldn't let them, um, which that took about three weeks for him to get that way because, like, I had, like, people on the team watching, I had other people, like, babysit, um, so I don't really know what happened. I think he got comfortable, and then he started, like, not letting anyone be around him. I took him to my grandparents' house on Thanksgiving, and he started growling at anyone that touched him, and that was whatever, fine, um, so I took him back home. Well, then he started, like, trying to bite people and bite dogs still whatever okay you know i was just giving him the benefit of the doubt the whole time uh, and then like he would like run around and if anyone got near me or came inside the apartment he would just flip like and i'm not talking like bark like i'm talking like literally like you know those dogs whenever they have like the things coming out of their sides like the um the spit like he would do that and he was like small like small 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 <laughs> <laughs> so I took my boyfriend's house and my boyfriend's a dog and they were like like Ty is so loving so Ty was like playing around with Theo Theo got so mad like we were like okay calm down Theo it's fine like you guys are just playing um we tried to hold him he was like freaking out like spazzing um his teeth were out like he was spitting and so like we had to like literally like put a blanket on him like calm down calm down calm down so at that point I'm bawling, like I'm terrified of my dog and I'm not sure what to do. So I kept on trying for a while and like I would take him to my, like my neighbor and like Theo even freaked out on her and tried to bite her and like it was just bad. So then the last straw I had him over and it was me and my boyfriend like laying down and came in like leaned over to like give me a kiss on my cheek and Theo flipped out and I was like it's okay Theo. Well he ended up biting my thumb. And like, I'm not talking like just biting like ripped skin. Um, so I put him in his cage and I was just bawling. So I called my neighbor and I was like, you know, I don't know what to do. I love this dog. I've only had him for two months and I don't know what to do. So I called the shelter and they were like, yep, well, he's just not a people person. And that's just how it is. My dog's the same way. I just don't take him around people. But like, I don't have a lifestyle to do that. Like, I just don't. Like, I'm around people all the time, especially now that I moved to Florida. Like, there's no way. So I just kept on, didn't know what to do. And I called my neighbor and she was like, Madeline, you have to, we have to find him a new home. Like there's just no way. So my plan was to take him back to the shelter, which I was bawling, like literally crying for the whole day that I made that decision. And then thankfully somebody in my hometown decided to take him and they were like, you know, maybe we can make it work. So they took him for a week. Hey guys, sorry, my camera died. So yeah, so he found different owners that actually had like a big yard from the run in. Um, so they took him and I was very thankful for that. I still cried. I'm not kidding you for two weeks Like I came back home and I saw his dog food and literally was like And like I kept a piece of his dog food for like five months after so it's pathetic to be honest with you But I still have his collar. I'll forever love Theo um, I really grew up like I never thought giving a dog away would just teach me like 
It, teach, it taught me to like care for other people. Like I was sad, but I was happy to see them happy. And he really helped me grow up and he went through a lot with me. So like, I really love him. Um, I did see him for like three months afterwards on and off. Um, but then he started like growling at me and biting me because like he was overprotective of his owner and I wasn't his owner anymore. So he started to forget who I was. So I finally stopped seeing him. Um, but I do miss Theo and I can't wait till I have another dog that I can like love and give all my time with and our personalities match and we just click. But I need to do more research next time and actually spend time with the dog to make sure that it's the right decision and make sure that my life is in the right spot. So. I learned a lot from it, but that is my story time of the time that I got a dog that literally hated me or loved me too much. Kind of like a toxic relationship. So I will see you guys next week. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below your dog horror stories, and make sure you follow me on my Instagram, MadelineRebecca underscore sign. So see you then. Bye. <laughs>